hello hello welcome back today's painting is going to be on a 16 by 40 inch canvas and utilizing a custom blue mix for the base now the way I do my custom colors for a base this big is I use my leftover scrapes from various paintings and I pour them into a bucket when the bucket is full I mix the paints and see what comes up and that was the color that popped up now I did add a little bit of titanium white to that mixture to help brighten up the colors just uh, by another shade of, or so just to see what would come out of it. And so far it's turning out great. It is drying beautifully. I'll be able to show you a dried version in next week's um, video, but for tonight, I hope you like it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Now a question that I get a lot is what do I use to make cells or for my pouring medium? For my Dutch pours, it's just paint and water only, and I mix until the consistency that I want is reached. Now, when I do other techniques that I'll show you in you know upcoming videos, you'll see that I use different types of pouring mediums and like to experiment a lot, so then you'll see how those come about. But for the Dutch pours, it's just paint and water, but I'll let you see what tonight's painting looks like. I can't wait, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. So, see you soon. Here I'm just spreading that blue base across the canvas and using my flower travel size hair dryer. Now in this part, you'll see that there's quite a bit of paint on the canvas, but it won't be enough to cover the entire thing. And so off camera, I do add some more towards the edges to get the nice spread. Then I'll be making sure to get my edges because somebody asks, what do I do about my edges? And so I do run my fingers across the sides of the canvas to make sure that I get good coverage all the way around. Now, I don't always paint the sides unless if I'm doing a specific technique or because I want a particular look. Usually I have enough paint flowing over to cover those edges. And that's what I'm doing in this part here. The first color I'll be laying down is Prush Blue. And this is by Amsterdam. Now I do a thin line across the middle of the canvas. Not too thick and not too small, but just enough so that way I can put the next color directly over it. Now the next color that I'll be putting down is more like of an aqua color. And this was actually one of my custom mixes from a previous painting that I did recently. And I had just enough left over for this canvas. Up next, I'm going to be utilizing an Arteza brand, and this one's going to be Chartreuse. And so it is greenish, yellowish um, from Arteza, and it's one of their pearl paints, but it looks yellow on camera, but it's really a beautiful, pretty yellow green mix. Here, this is going to be Gold by Golden. Now, a lot of you know that I love some Deco Art 24K. However, I did not have any mix for this particular painting. And so I utilized my previous gold from the last painting. Up next is Titanium White by Amsterdam that I'm putting over the canvas. And the reason why was because I was debating whether or not I should add a little bit of a red for an accent color on here. And so since I did decide to do a little bit of red, I added the white before that in order to not have the red mix in with the other blues and greens directly to not get a muddy type of effect. And so this is a little bit of red and literally it is dots of red that I'm spreading across the canvas. But I think next time, I'll use a little bit more because I like the way it looked afterwards. There you go. So you see that red a little bit here. And then this one here is just a little bit of that teal that I had as well. Now, somebody asks, why do I push the paint across each other? Depending on how I want the blowout to look, if I want more of that ethereal type of effect, then I will 
push the paints across each other. But if I want those big Dutch pours with like the nice bright quote unquote spreads or wings, then I usually won't push it over the other. But for this one, because of the colors that I mix, I wanted that nice ethereal look to it. And you'll see how that is accomplished here. But I do hope you enjoyed the rest of the video and I'll see you soon.